all my name is krishnak and welcome to my youtube channel in this video we'll be discussing why every data scientist each and every data scientist needs to have some working experience in linux operating system now when i say this question then many of you will be feeling that i'm trying to uh, compare windows and linux operating system it is not like that guys we just try to understand it is well that if you know how to work in linux operating system and windows operating system not a problem you should have multiple operating system knowledge itself but i'll specifically say why you need to have some knowledge on linux because there are many many reasons and in terms of data science it is very very important so let us go ahead and discuss about it now the first point that i would like to call is that you know the general uh, characteristics of a linux operating system it is an open source don't require any anti antivirus and many more things right but here this video specifically deals with respect to data scientists now suppose uh, and this i'll just say a small incident before uh, explaining more details guys when i started learning machine learning for the first time and when i got the job of a data scientist at that time i used to prefer working in windows now there were some of my seniors who used to work in linux operating system and i used to say that uh, windows looks quite easy to work it why you are preferring to work in linux and uh, uh, again th that senior basically told me that krish you'll come to know this after one year because after one year you'll also probably thinking of working in linux operating system and guess what after one year i am actually working in linux operating system and i hardly work in windows operating system and yes my personal laptop is in windows operating system so all the videos that i record is basically on windows itself but uh, i'll just give you some technical reasons uh, why it is important for if you are planning to make uh, switch towards data science why it is important that you should also have linux operating system knowledge is that first of all guys understand that linux is quite fast the com the inner computation that usually happens is basically fast apart from that in linux operating system if i talk in terms of data scientist you know you have huge number of libraries and uh, which can be easily be integrated with any hardware now why i'm speaking about hardware over here is that i'm basically recalling you with respect to gpus so nvidia gpus if i try to configure those gpus with my linux operating system if i'm planning to run my program within the linux operating system with the help of gpu at that time you'll be seeing that in order to configure it right we'll be using some cuda libraries and for configuring it it is quite simple guys it will just take a minimal amount of time but when i take the same example with respect to windows at that time it will take double of those time so there is a whole lot of differences between linux and uh, windows operating system when i am comparing with respect to data science apart from that linux has different different uh, you know uh, libraries for supporting different different hardwares okay let it be a uh, ip camera let it be a uh, different kind of cameras itself because camera you know that right will be using them uh, camera or webcam will be using them extensively for doing our computer vision projects uh, apart from that guys if i just consider nvidia gpus one of the best thing is that you try to use that with uh, uh, linux operating system now the other reason is that understand that whenever i discuss about the life cycle of a data science project i usually talk about deployment in the cloud right deployment of the model in the cloud and more than 80 percent of the cloud right uh, environment is basically based on linux operating system so this is pretty much very very important to understand so you may face a, this kind of situation that suppose you are trying to work in windows operating system and if you want to deploy some packages into the cloud which is in linux operating system you may face some conflicting issues based on the libraries that you're working in right so it is very very important that you have that again there are concepts like docker which will solve this particular problem when i talk about docker guys docker is just a way how we can uh, package our software and deploy it in the cloud based on the operating system but if i am considering cloud guys uh, most of the examples that i've given you already aws ec2 instance um, if i talk about heroku so uh, if you have seen my yesterday's video where i have shown you how to deploy nlp models into cloud so basically i've used heroku which is on linux platform okay so you should have some idea to work with Linux because this is the most important point that most of your cloud environments are having Linux operating system. Now, there are various versions of Linux. You can have Ubuntu, you can have Red Hat. Even though you have seen a lot of VMs, right? If you're if you are deploying some micro web services in some VMs, if you're using some external VMs, all are basic Linux platform only. It is, it is built on the top of Linux platform. The reason is that Linux is completely open source, okay? And I know some of the people will be saying that they have not worked much. 
because they are not familiar with those operating system but it is very very simple it is it is uh, the, the usability is very good over there again you love it uh, because most of the people i think if you have seen uh, people working in uh, you know linux operating system they try to work through the terminal that is present over there but understand guys it is just a week time like if you get hands on with that you'll find it pretty much good okay so the reason that i'm selecting is that for every data scientist they need to know how the deployment happens so for that you have linux platforms in the cloud more than 80 percent of the cloud is basically having the linux platform so you should know how to do that uh, for techniques like dockers in the deployment techniques like docker images containers registries right for all this kind of stuff you will be requiring uh, linux platform itself you can also use it in windows one more difference that i recently faced was that initially i uh, i was trying to create a docker image in windows and in linux okay in windows when i started creating it the it, it just took out all the dependency of the library and the overall size of that particular package was more than 12 gb okay and just understand guys this big package i cannot just deploy in the cloud because cloud will also have some limitation it will also have some cost so what we did is that instead of just making a docker of windows we tried to make a docker of linux and when we did that the overall size was just 2.5 gb okay and then we were able to deploy that model and that model was basically a cnn model a deep learning model which was doing some kind of image classification so this is one advantage one real world advantage that i got to see over there uh, in linux you don't have that much intermediate uh, dependencies uh, it requires less number of package and you know that by default linux comes with python installed in that right so any kind of frameworks that you want to quickly do it you can basically do it so this is the basic difference and you should uh, and again i'm stressing it guys you need to have some knowledge in linux operating system if you are planning to become a data scientist so i hope you like this particular video Please do share my channel. Please, uh, please do subscribe my channel if you like this. Please do share with all your friends whoever require this kind of help. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.